gonna help? Yep, I know. I came out to fix it as soon as I could. Well guys, I finally broke something on my tractor. This uh, Yanmar has been great. I'm really enjoying working with it and using it. And um, But I did finally break something. I was selling some really hard ground the other day and uh, broke a part off on the three-point hitch. I guess like a little stabilizer chain. So let me show you that part and I'm going to see if I can fix this um, easily. But I want to give a shout out to Nick at PR Equipment. I just took a picture of what broke, sent him a text with that picture in it, and PR Equipment, again Nick down at PR Equipment in Ennis, just sent me the new part. This is the new part, that's what I broke, actually these welds right here are what broke. Um, so got to replace this part, let me show you the broken part on the tractor, right down here. So you can see this, uh, this piece right here, the weld broke where it attaches to that little spindle. Hopefully you can see that right down there. So I'm going to see if I can get this off. I'm hoping there's enough room between pulling this pin and the wheel that I can uh, get that off or, and replace it without, without having to take anything else apart or the wheel off or anything. So hopefully it'll be that easy. Let's find out. Alright, so I'm not sure how easy that is to get off of there. I'll just flip the pin up right here. See if I can pull that part out. And I'm not sure how the how that pin is in there. So I'm just gonna see if I can move it a little bit. If it moves easily doesn't move easily so I'm not sure what else has to come off or get loosened or maybe maybe some uh, pressure on or off the three-point hitch I'm not sure so I'm gonna have to figure that out all right so I've got the the three-point hitch up hopefully you can see this but right between here where the little where the little uh, ball is, this little bushing fell out that goes in there. So I've got to keep up with that. So now I'm going to see if I can move this out of the way far enough that these two spacers will come off. If that's easier than taking the wheel off the tractor. And that's what I'm hoping for. But so far, see I can move the pin back and forth where I've got that out. Just trying to avoid taking the wheel off the tractor. I don't want to scratch the wheels on my new tractor. I'm using the impact wrench on the tires and all that, so I'm trying to bypass it. But now that I've got it loose, this arm is in the way. So I just need to see if I can move it out of the way, loosen it up. I may even have to take the upper pin loose just to, to get this to be loose enough to move it. So I'm going to give that a try next. All right, so I took the, took the upper arm off just with the pull the little pin out right here so the arm would come out that let the this side of the three-point hitch come down so now let's see this will just yep just come right off there's one bushing off and there's the broken part that's off now too so I'm gonna put the new one on doesn't look like there's a any particular direction that it goes I'm going to put the new one on, put this bushing back in there, slide it over just a little bit, and now I can put the arms back together. So I got the got the pin back in there, the bottom part's back in, and right where it belongs. I'm not sure if you can see this past my head, it's just a little bit of a tight spot here. So I'm gonna pull the connector, little cotter pin out of that one. Cotter pin out of this one. But I'm wondering now if I shouldn't have screwed this together before. Pin doesn't come out, there it goes. 
before I put that all the way back on there. I guess I will find out. Shouldn't be that big a deal. I'll just um, unscrew it from here and put it back on. Put it back on at the at the bottom. But this piece has to come out. And then I can adjust it to keep the tension on these uh, torsion arms. So took that one out. That came made onto the new one, so I don't need that. Maybe it'll be an extra part. So we're gonna take it off of, off of here. if I need to take it all the way off. So it goes like that. And this one goes like this. And they screw together. Hard to work upside down and backwards. This is an awkward angle to hold the parts and get everything turned in the right direction. But I think we've got it now. That should give me enough. Now I've got the threads too far the other way. Well, just a little fiddly. Take it back. Also here, take it off. Just trying to figure out about how far to start it. Okay. Try to start it again. Let's see what that does. good that looks really good so now I'm going to check the tension on this see if I can move it around and take this and see if I can oh forgot to hook the upper rod so now I got to do that hook the upper one up put this one back in place see if I can lift this a little bit there we go Slide right on. And this had a little pin on it right here. A little pin lock. And then this went through. The other one's facing down, so I think I'll face this one down as well. Just like that. And that's back on. Okay, now let's see if I can get this other little pin. Here. But maybe I should check the how tight it is before I put that last pin in. Let's see. And it's pretty stinking tight right there. I guess what this does is keeps the lateral movement out of this three-point hitch. So that works pretty well. Put the last pin in. And keeps that in place. Let me turn that a little bit and get it off the pin. Yeah, that's better. All right, now let's test it out and see if it works. good it's all back together everything is nice and tight and secure all back the way it was all right so there's the part that broke that's where the weld broke on this little bracket that holds the that tensioner on and that is all put back together just like it was brand new